Right. So now let's look at the flow metrics. The first metric that I want to talk about is throughput. Right. Everybody knows this one. The first three metrics I think everybody knows, but we'll cover it. Right. What's throughput? Throughput is nothing but number of work items delivered. And you say delivered. Different people have different definitions of delivered. Here I mean completed means it, it has gone into production or it has reached the customer, right? So number of work items delivered in a period of time. And how have we captured it here? Basically, we are capturing it as number of uh, issues delivered, number of tickets delivered, right? So week one, some 10, week two, some seven and a half, eight, like X, so and so. So this, this gives a fairly good sense of the capability and stability of the team. So if you can notice, this team is consistently being able to deliver around between 10 to 15 stories or issues in a given period of time, right? Seems like a fair ask. Now, this is great, but even this isn't accurate enough. So what we do is we go, we del we break down this chart into something more appropriate, which is now we're looking at throughput by issue type. So you break down that chart into the different types of issues that were resolved. So now we get down to user stories, customer support bugs and technical debt. Right? Very good question. How is the sizing done, right? Are tickets and stories are of equal size? No, not necessarily. They are not. In the first chart, they are not. And in this one, we get to know what they are. We have still not established the fact whether they are the equal size or not. We are still looking at how many have you have delivered? That's all. We are not looking at whether sized or not sized. That's a that's a slightly different discussion for a different metric. Right? Now, this is much better because now you have a fairly good sense of the stability of the team. Why? Because now you know this team is capable of delivering around seven to eight stories per week. This team is capable of delivering approximately ten customer support bugs per week, and about three to four technical debt stories per week. And that is a very good starting point to understand flow metrics. So now that we've established throughput by issue type, let's go one level deeper. Now let's compare, okay, how different is throughput from velocity? Right? This question comes up quite frequently and I want to make sure that we understand this correctly. Right? Both throughput and velocity, they measure team delivery patterns. They also give you a sense of stability and predictability. But throughput is independent of work item size at this point in time. You can make it dependent on it. That's a different discussion. But at this point in time, throughput is independent of work item size. Throughput is not tied to a cadence. So you're not doing it like at a, every sprint, every every two sprints, every PI. You're not doing it. And the fun fact is, it's very, very simple to collect. There is no complexity, you know, you're just measuring how many work items are done, as simple as that. 